Oh, nice, Shallow Thought. Yeah, I won a picture of Terra from FF6, uh, the first uh, GDQ in 2010. I know I still have it, and I made a very small attempt to find it uh, in the lead up to the GDQ uh, 10th anniversary online marathon a few months ago, but uh, able to find it on a small amount of looking. Well, the Four Job Fiesta is a pretty good excuse to play through FF5. A lot, I know a lot of people use it as their excuse to just f play it at all for the first time. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, although my main advice for people that do that is to not be shy at all about looking at guides and FAQs. If you've never played the game casually, as far as just helping you just making sure you know what uh, all of your all of the stuff you have access to does. I actually used to speedrun FF5, even though I've lost interest in doing any percent speedruns. I still enjoy playing it once a year for the Fiesta. I haven't actually decided what what rules I'm going to do this year. I'm kind of leaning towards pure chaos, assuming that pure chaos is like chaos only with no duplicate jobs, which is my understanding. That was because I did chaos last year, and I had two Beastmasters. A little bit of a barber. Really not too fond of the idea of having dupes. At least after you've gotten all of your four jobs. Well, they did release a quote unquote remaster on PC like five, six years ago or so. Your mileage may vary though. I've heard that port has some pretty big issues. Okay, past the guards. I mean, from what I've seen of the PC ports of FF5 and 6, the only kind of aspect of the game that they really nailed, I thought, was the monster artwork, which is it's the same sprite work as the original games, just uh, in HD. Hey, Fart Ferguson. Why do I reorder the party there for manipulation? because King Sword is going to attack the fir the party leader on the first turn, and I want my, the, my mutant to get killed off so that she can eventually be replaced when I get to uh, the second world. So I set up having her die there. Hey, Galicious. Second, yeah, the only encounter I actually fight the uh, rest of this world is in the cave. That's what I would really love to see, Pindigli, is uh, a remake of at least FF6 in the style of Octopath Traveler. Be nice if they did, like, 4 and 5, too, but uh, 4 I don't think really needs it that badly, because it already has... Uh, FF4 complete on PSP. I 
Thanks, Rook Rooksley, if I'm pronouncing it right. I would not, really not like to see for FF6 though as a 3D remake. If they ever do another remake of the game, which feels kind of unlikely at this point. the limit break. I mean, I would expect there's probably some decent resources on, like, romhacking.net and similar sites for how to hack the FF6 ROM. Even that a lot of work, research in that subject has been done over the years. Yeah, I doubt that'll happen, too. I think FF8 would certainly benefit from an FF7 remake-style remake of its own, but yeah, that just feels very, very unlikely. It kind of just seems to me like the HD remaster they recently did of that game is kind of the last word on the subject. Oh, nice synapse. Yeah, I'm very proud of that run, and my SGDQ run last year or two. I'll be back to Chrono Trigger at some point, I just don't know when. Right now, because of my work schedule, I'm mostly focusing on just shorter RPGs. One thing I do really like seeing come out is lately is quality of life improvement patches for older games too to make them just more uh, accessible and fun to newer audiences. Hey, deck box. Yeah, this is a Game Boy game. Scum, you make me sick. Yeah, the PSP version of FF1, I would definitely uh, would definitely be my recommended version to somebody who's never played it before. And if you do want to play the original NES version, I would recommend using some kind of quality of life patch.
You know, I've never thought of it that way, Argent, but yeah, that's, uh... false advertising. I actually saved some time despite that kind of derpy, uh, counter after, uh, um, Sword King. Yeah, my time savings are extremely front loaded. Like, the next split after this, I've got a ton of time to save. Well, I should say this split here, Whirlpool. why the soundtrack to this game is so good, it's Nobuo Uematsu. Give that man a Game Boy and he can make even the limited uh, musical options for this hardware sound great. Kind of. Uh, as far as all battles playing out turn by turn per manipulation, that's actually over now, but uh, um, starting here I'm going to be abusing the in-game save system very heavily in order to um, deal, with, deal with random encounters and boss fights. The two main the two main reasons for that are that um, uh, that there isn't really a reliable way with a, a to run away first try guaranteed, and there's also a pseudo perma death system where you're limited as far as how many times you can revive your characters under normal means. For free speed run, it's not using total control RNG manip for the whole game. It just works out to uh, be a lot uh, faster and more consistent to save scum heavily than to uh, than to deal with bad encounters. Hey, Faizu, morning, Siri. Thank you, thank you. Because uh, in the first world, I was using full RNG manipulation. The reason I'm not anymore is just because it's just not routed for this category past uh, past entering this this the world of ocean. And I kind of like have this run having a bit of everything too, as far as having some manipulation and some uh, some more. Uh, Reactive gameplay. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's the that's the that's the good, the fun of cartridge-based games is how fast it is to save compared to like a uh, a disc-based game where you have to save to a memory card or a hard disk. Yep. <laughs> I think somebody forgot to carry the one or something like that in the bath for the saw skill. Hey, Daedalonis, so come in. Alright, pretty good uh, whirlpool segment. Let's keep it going. Very good flea luck. The rate that I do th that I save scum varies a bit too, depending on the encounter rate for the area I'm in. I think pretty much everywhere I've been since I s started doing the, or since I stopped bit my manipulation route has been the same. But once I get to uh, certain rooms in Sirai's castle, it's have elevated encounter rates. Quite understood why say Ryu's castle uses the overworld theme, but I we can chalk that up to just lim limited memory in the Game Boy ROM. My leading theory. The lucky octopus move. No, I still haven't PB'd yet. In fact, I came to the realization that I have not PB'd at any game yet in 2020 yet. You really need to fix that. So this room right here is an elevated encounter rate. Save more often here. Big Krillin. There's an enemy sprite in Final Fantasy Legend 3 that I think looks even more like Krillin as far as having the, uh, I think it's Buddhist monk, uh, dot pattern on the forehead. I think it's called Sea Monk, in fact. <laughs> English version. Did encounter rate room. Heal, but uh, make sure that before Sirayu. Got burned by that in a few previous runs as far as forgetting to heal and then Sirayu killing somebody. It's okay if it's the 
human that doesn't have a weapon, but anybody else, then I have to retry the fight. <sighs> right when I was pressing the button to save, too. Give me the beat. We've now become Woodman of the World. Not for very long, though. It felt like a pretty solid segment, too, but apparently not, as far as, uh, Lee look. This is still a, a very acceptable pace for getting my goal of 105, though. Talk to the top hat man at least once in the tower, also soft lock uh, like five ish minutes from the end. Hey, Senator Gorgeous, welcome in. For the compliment. Thank you. 
three serves, that should be one of the patterns that gives me a pretty high number of steps before the next encounter with it. Okay. Am I resetting so fast? Because this game has an in-game soft reset. I press uh, A, B, uh, start select at the same time, it'll reset. I also do that in Legend 2, but not Legend 3. CWA, welcome in. Appreciate the compliments, too. Hey, awkwards, awkwards to a night with me. Many new faces tonight, I love it. Get the saver cat meat, that's fine. Need to get it next time. Cool, yeah. Try to put as much uh, of my content on YouTube as uh, as I can too. YouTube.com slash poexel if anybody's curious. It's in which bio somewhere too. Hopefully this is the 105 or better. Oh, come on. Just these guys don't fight you if you bump into them. Hey, Mad Dog, yeah, it's, it's going pretty good so far. I mean, periodic reminder that my uh, splits for this category are extremely front-loaded as far as where the time saves are. But this is certainly the, ki the kind of pace I want to be on to actually have a shot at a PB.
Yeah, like I said earlier, I have not yet achieved any new speedrunning PBs this year yet. Hopefully, tonight's the night. Hey, if we try Saber Cat meet. Uh, yes, it is an imp, a jelly, and two human females right now. Yes, I'm gonna play for Job Fiesta. Pretty, pretty high likelihood that I'll stream it too. Oh, nice, MGF plays up it goes well. And that's fine. I, I honestly didn't really care about, like, FF5 that much the first time I played it, too. It, it, although it, it kind of grew on me uh, after that, once I actually started to understand the uh, the job system better. A game that definitely doesn't hold your hand, though. For better and worse. Yeah, the times are a pretty big problem with that port. kind of a weird Byaku fight. It's a nice gold, but I'm kind of afraid I'm going to lose a decent chunk of that time now because he didn't kill either of my humans, and I need them both to die before I uh, get to the next adventurer's guild. What happens in the Adamant's fight, though? Yeah, that battle in the big bridge is really good. I'm a big... I, really, all of the battle themes in FF5 I enjoy a lot. My other top favorite besides battle in the big bridge is the uh, first X-Death battle theme. I actually like it more than the Neo X-Death theme.
I haven't played 15 yet either, but I feel like that's probably the next Square RPG I'm going to play, although that's not going to be soon, because I still need to uh, finish Persona 5 Royal. Uh, no, it's just this one. The, the, sp the sprite work uh, for for the uh, means from this game, some of that gets reused. Legend 2, but uh, the actual names don't, as far as I remember. Have I ever speedrun Secret of Mana? No, I have not. I've thought about it a few times, like the glitch list category, but uh, not really too high on my uh, bucket list. Almost fell for that turn again. At this point, I feel like if I was actually going to try speedrunning a mana game, it would uh, probably be Trials of Mana HD. I did that a lot, and looks like a pretty cool speedrun, too. Come on. Uh, the four symbols, meaning the uh, the Chinese constellations that the fiends in this game are based on. Yeah, I definitely recommend it, Faizu. Objectively, I think uh, FF7 Remake's the better game, but uh, just comparing Trials of Mana HD to the original Saiken Densetsu 3, I think it's a huge, huge, huge improvement. Nice, the Adamant killed both of the humans. Perfect. Yeah, that, that I would say that's probably the the biggest problem I had with Trials of Mana HD was that even hard difficulty I thought wasn't really that challenging. It was like, uh, like I said in my kind of very, very mini Twitter review of the game, um, I feel like in an action RPG, the hard, hard, harder difficulties should be really about making you uh, have to kind of learn how enemies and bosses work as far as their patterns and how to dodge their attacks and then get very familiar with all of the abilities and other resources at your disposal. And I didn't really feel like uh, Trials of Mana hard mode uh, made me do either of those. Yeah, with out of uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't want to do any like heavy duty spoiler talk of FF7 remake out of respect to uh, people that haven't played it yet. But um, yeah, I, I more or less agree. I mean, I feel like like it did a very, very, very good job of world building both the uh, the characters, the NPCs, and kind of the world that ties them together. Even though some aspects of the uh, like expanded story didn't work that well, just the 
I didn't really, I still didn't really mind that that much because of just how much fun exploring the game world was. Trials of Mana HD, I think, does a decent job of that, too. I don't, it's not quite as profound, I would say, as FF7 Remake, but uh, um, pretty much all of the areas I thought were very fun to, uh, to explore. What's the most difficult part of this game to speedrun? Uh... For this particular category, I would honestly say it's probably the save scum manipulation because doing it, doing it well, is a lot harder than it looks. As far as both um, deciding when to uh, like try to run from an encounter versus resetting, and also uh, um, trying to recognize uh, counter patterns based on like the tiles you get them on. also some judgment calls too as far as when it's worth even trying to run from a fight versus just instantly reset if you save kind of recently. Alright, so we're coming up on the last, well not really, the well the last RNG, heavy RNG beat drop. I mean, there's still plenty of RNG to go. Like, I, I don't really feel like the PB's uh, somewhat secure until I'm past Ashura and still ahead. But the next kind of big test is going to be the Evil Eye beat drop. Which was not good in my PB, but I've had runs recently where it's been even worse. Trino. Pretty much all of Squaresoft's RPGs in the Game Boy, at least that were released uh, outside Japan of such amazing music. It was only, I mean, you can credit Uematsu for this game, but he wasn't that involved with Legend 2 or 3 or Final Fantasy Adventure. I think those were largely done by Kenji Ito. See that meat drop? I wish I knew what the exact odds for this were, but just based on doing runs, it feels like it's, uh... Gods are not too much in my favor, but hey, second try I will very happily take. Alright, now to make sure I don't not that I'm healed before fighting Warback, because that's what cost me my last real shot at a PB was uh, having uh, my, one of, I think it was my Chimera die. That cut, made me lose a lot of time later.
to heal him. Well, I'm in the same camp. I, I adored Triple Triad and did not like Tetra Master at all. Nice. I feel like I should have saved more time than that from getting second try meat drop, but uh, I'll take it. Guess I must. Probably lost a bit of time to the um, adamant fight because of having to get the humans killed off, and then I probably lost some time to my PB on just encounter luck and movement. I mean, that's the biggest problem I had with Tetra Master, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, is that uh, there's a lot of randomness with the card duel outcomes, unlike in uh, Triple Triad, where uh, it's all just based on the numbers and the rules. Yeah, I've seen that um, those HD renders of FF9, which look really nice. Yeah, this dungeon is very, very weird and, con and confusing. Like this this floor where every tile that's not a wall looks like a staircase. They look kind of more like cell phone reception meters to me. record for any percent with saw I think is like 54 minutes or so. 
Not aware of anybody besides me that's done Solace on the English version, but the uh, the Japanese version record uh, kind of roughly converted to the same timing and stuff. I would estimate being around a 58. It's called being very good at the game and getting lucky where it matters. Yeah, Saw is that busted. You can, it can insta-kill anything in the game that's stronger than you, including bosses, including the final boss. Oh yeah, Sedgar's Chainsaw is nothing compared to his uh, skill in this game. Alright, looking good. This next split is kind of the deal breaker though. I need to both beat Ashura and have my Chimera and Jelly get killed. Yeah, slots in FF7 is not easy at all. I mean, it's a shame that it, uh, that, I don't know, in my opinion, it's not the most interesting watch, given how, uh, skill-intensive actually being good at it is. some time just being <laughs> I, I like Setzer's slots better than Kate Sith's, largely because you have to do R you have to kind of understand how to do uh, RNG manipulation to get the right slots outcomes you want, instead of it just all being based on timing. Yeah, the end is pretty hilarious.
Wolfie would certainly be a modern day so social media mogul. It's Jim Starkiller. a flare probably on the turn after this. Please die. Nice. Yeah. Mostly lost time just because of <laughs> just some Stupid derps with movement and saving in the tower, but uh, feeling pretty good now. It's going to take a lot for me to lose two minutes now. Okay, good. Didn't kill uh, a... Actually, getting a 105 is going to be a bit is going to be pretty tight, though. I think so I'm up against a gold creator split. It's mostly going to come down to flea luck, I think. Not like this. Come on, let me run. Running blind umpire. Oh, it's not morning here. It'll be in 28 minutes, though. Uh, it's just Fantasy Star 1 that has first person dungeons. Fantasy Star 2 kind of beca beca became a lot more like the Dragon Quest series of the time, I think. Since the last save.
so many escalators. Megan 5. Monster in this game has to have a unique name. Uh, the fourth world, the world that Seiryu was in, is post-apocalyptic Tokyo. This is going to be close. <laughs> About a minute, ten or so, to kill the creator. <laughs> Aha! I'll have to frame count that later, but even if that's a 106 flat, uh, still, still, still good. Alright, first PB of 2020 in the bag.
The GG's, everybody. Just looking at these splits, this is pretty much what I expected as far as the run that would finally, uh, finally beat these older splits, is that I'd gained a bunch of time in, uh, the world of Ocean, and, well, kind of largely keep hold on to the same lead through the end. Uh, my goal time is 105xx. Even if this is st actually a 106 flat, even after frame counting it, I think I'm probably ready to move on from this game for a while. I'll... Assuming it gets into Saga 2020, which I don't really see why it wouldn't, I'll certainly be... Doing some practice runs in the lead up to it. But I think the next uh, the next game I'm going to uh, work on for a bit is probably going to be Octopath Traveler. Try to improve my uh, Ulberic single story time a little bit and then learn other character too. Hey, Swimmy Leonie, welcome in, thanks for the raid. See you again.